Hey, all, let's take a look at percents. These give people like aneurysms if you don't know how to do them. And if you hate percentages, here's, here's, here's a clue for you, all right? You're in algebra two, that's great. Um, but I have met and talked to many kids and I go, oh, what do you, math you take? And they're in some high school. They go, well, I'm in calculus and this and that. I go, oh, okay, well, and we, and we talk and in, in, in a nutshell, I'll ask them some easy percentage Problem and like oh well I, I don't know how to do that kind of thing you know I, I'm in calculus I'm like good heavens you're in calculus you should be able to figure out 20% of 800 yeah well you know I, I don't know how to do any of that stuff I'm like oh boy okay you know calculus but you can't figure that anyway if you hate percentages then you should learn to do them quickly to get them over with all right so let's do that we know the two ways to figure percentages like already okay first off is create a ratio or an equation. And two is make sure your answer is sensible. And we're, let's go ahead and do this again. And this isn't this isn't like technically algebra, but uh, you know it's a very useful thing to do. And especially if you, you have pencil or paper and that's it or whatever, great to be able to do this. At least number two, when you look at if somebody says what's X percent of whatever, um, you want to be able to tell kind of what's sensible answer and what isn't a sensible answer. So let's do a couple of these things real quick. All right, pause and copy if you need to. 18 is 20% of what number, all right? Let's make sure we can do the two methods. You need to make sure you can do both of these methods. First method is you take this and turn it into an algebra equation. It's even easier these to do it yourself. Okay, so we have 18, 18 is equals 20%. You can write 0.2 if you want, or you can write 20 over 100, doesn't matter. We'll just write 0.2. Percent of what number it means multiply what number, which is x. And again, I hate going right to left. I'm going to just flip it. Okay? We can do our little trick if you want to. Move this over. Move that over. X, uh, excuse me, 2x is equal to 180. So x is uh, 180 divided by 2, which is 90. And there's your answer. Okay? Method 1. Method 2, don't even think. Just go bloop and then equals bloop like that. Okay? And make sure you make those sounds in your room while you're doing this as your parents are walking by and wondering, what is that noise in there? Doing algebra, Mom. Bleh. Okay, anyhow. All right. You notice we have four blanks. we got to fill them up. So here is, there's one of our numbers. There's something else we can use. And there's the other one. All right. What number? We already know that's going to be an X. Okay. Let's do the percent. 20% piece of cake. 20 over 100. If you recognize this as one-fifth or two-tenths, go ahead and do that if you want to. All right, quick question for you. Are we looking for a number? Okay, 18 is 20% of some number. Is that number bigger than 18 or smaller than 18? Well, eight, if 18 is only a small percent of that number, then that number is bigger than 18, which, which means it has to match. Bigger number goes on the bottom, all right? So that means the 18 is on top, the X is on the bottom, cross multiply. 20 times x, bloop, that's the, make sure you make that noise so your parents start worrying about you. 18 times 100, there you go. Another trick if you want, clop off that zero and that zero to give yourself an easier one. 2x equals 180, well, lo and behold, look at there, same thing, yoink, there you go. Okay, let's do another one. Pause and copy. Okay, let's do this. First, I have a question for you. Um, well, you know, I'll come to that in a second. Let's make sure we can do the two ways. Uh, 800 is what percent of 250? Let's go ahead and just do the fraction equals fraction way on this one. My first question to you and then is this. How do you write 93% as a fraction? 93 over 100, right? How do you write 71% as a fraction? 71 over 100, right? How do you write what percent as a fraction? Logically, it would be x over 100, right? Okay, so let's let's do, instead of doing that, let's go ahead and do the, you know, going left to right. 800, 800 is equals what percent? x over 100. Of 250 times 250. And there you go. If you want to treat this like this, you can, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this in one step here. Uh, 250, and then what we can do is we can treat this like this. 250 is on top, 100's on bottom, and let's just do the X in the middle kind of here like this. 
and then that's 800. Okay. Now, if you remember, uh, if you saw this, I was, oh yeah, I can knock down this by 50s. Yeah, go right ahead and do it. Pretend that you didn't. Well, you know how to clean that thing up, right? You just multiply by the reciprocal. 100 over 250. So just multiply this by 100 over 250. If you want to go ahead and just, you know, over 1. We know that's going to be X. We're in good shape here. You know, let's go ahead and just start knocking off stuff here. Let's, let's go knock off the zeros. Uh, that should be like that. Um, 800 times 10, if you want to just do that part, is going to be 8,000. And then that's going to be over 25. And this is where if you want to get a calculator out and you can figure out that 8,000 divided by 25 is 320. So 800 is 320% of 250. All right, method two, make sure you can do this. Don't even think blip equals blue. All right, honey, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm all gone. Okay. I keep hearing these bleh noises. Okay, and here's where we got 800. We got what percent and we got 250. Well, what percent is going to be X over 100? Boink, there we go. The first off question is, 800 is what percent of 250? Um, is it more than 100% or is it less than 100%? Is 800 more than 100% of 250? Heavens, yes. I mean, you know, obviously 250 is 100% of 250. So 800 is more than 100%. In other words, this is more, the more larger number is on top. That means out of this number, 800, and that number 250, the 800 has to be on top as well, all right? So if we do this, x times 250 is 250x, then 800 times 100, well, 8 times 1 is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and then again, if you have a calculator, if you want to, you can just do this in there, but you can junk off a zero on each one of these. Then you get 25x equals 8,000, well, same thing, right? 320, there you go. Both methods right there. All right, let's do this and pause and copy if you need to. What is 32% of 50? Well, this is a piece of cake using the uh, equation method, right? What X is equals 32%, you know, 0.32. You can do 32 over 100, whatever, of 50 times 50. Slap that in the calculator and you get the answer 16. Okay, if you didn't want to do it that way, Fine. Fraction bleh, equals bleh. What is 32%? Well, there's two of the blanks. There's a 50 and there's a what? Well, 32% is right here. The answer we're looking for is, you know, is the X or is the 50 greater? And the answer is the 50, right? 32% of 50 is less than 50. So that's the what? So we have to match it right there. That's going to be 50. 100 times X, 100 X. 32 times 50, 16,000. And, yoink, wait, is that 1,600, my bad. Then 2, and then there we go, x is 16, same old thing, no big deal. All right, uh, let's take a look at some geometry here. This is a piece of cake. Uh, you have uh, basically three uh, sets of expressions here. And what we need to figure out, or just to remember, is that you tell me how many degrees are inside are in the you know, uh, all the angles of a triangle add up to how many degrees and the answer is 180 right so all we need to do is set this plus this plus this equal to 180 so 2x plus 7x is 9x plus 6x is 15x then 2 plus 18 is 20 20 plus 10 is 30 15x plus 30 equals 180 15x is equal to 180 minus 30, and then x is equal to 10. Bingo, bango, there you go, okay? Find x, then find the measure of a small angle and the measure of a large angle. Okay, well, this is a piece of cake as well, because if you notice that, what kind of lines are these? What does that indicate? Parallel lines, okay. So if they're parallel, then a transversal will create this, you know, setup to where top left, is the same thing as this, is the same thing as this, is the same thing as that. And the top right will be, you know, this this angle is the same as that angle, is the same as that angle, is the same as that. You will not be surprised to learn angle. And both of those together, what does 4x plus 33, let's just go ahead and put the 3x there because it's the same thing. 
What do these two angles add up to? 180, right? It's a straight all the way from here to here is 180 degrees. So we have 4x plus 33 plus 3x equals 180. That gives us 7x plus 33 equals 180. And then 7x is equal to 180 minus 33. So x is equal to 147 divided by 7, which is 21. Okay. Find the measure of a small angle. Well, if x is 21, 4 times x is 84 plus 33 that equals 117, all right? Three times x will be this angle. Three times 21 is 63 for that one. There you go. By the way, 117 plus 63 does add up to 180, so we just proved that we were right on that one. Okay, let's take a look at this. The measures of angles A, B, C, and D are in the ratio of one to two to four to two. Find the measure of each angle. Well, we know the entire thing equals what? 180, right? The entire thing all the way around is going to be a straight angle, 180 degrees. What we can do is we can just set it up like this. Uh, a, B, and C, and D, we can go, okay, well, A is a 1X, and then B is a 2X, and then C is a 4X, and then D is back to 2X, and the entire thing adds up to 180 degrees. So there's 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2, that gives us 9X. And then equals 180. And so x is equal to 20. Now they don't just want to find out, oh, what's the angle of x? It's 20. They say find the measure of each angle. <clears throat> well, and a is the 1. So the a is going to be 20 degrees. That's a 0. Okay. b is twice that big, so it's 40 degrees. c is 4 times 20, so that's going to be 80 degrees. And then d is back to being twice as much as 20 degrees, which gives us 40. By the way, 40 plus 80, 120. 120 plus 40, 160. 160 plus 20, 180. We got it. There we go. Okay. All right. Try A and see what you get. Give it a pause and then come back when you're finished. All right. Both ways. We can do this uh, left to right if you want to. 93 is 30% of what number? So 93, 93 is equals 30% of what number times X? All right, and if you're all like uh, all good-hearted people, you'll want to, of course, write this left to right, like here. There we go. Okay, 93. Oh wait, I, I put a zero. That should be a three. Okay, so over one time, and then you one time gives you 930. So three times some number is 930. Well, that's a piece of cake. Three times or three into nine goes three times. Three into 30 goes 10 times. There's your answer. The other way, fraction the equals fraction. Okay, we got 30%. We got what number? And we got 93. Well, there's my 30%. And the number I'm looking for, 93 is 30% of what number? So 93 and another number, the other number will be bigger. So to match this, the 93 goes on the top and the other number goes on the bottom. So 30 times X will be 30X. 100 times 93 is 9300. And if you do your math, of course, it'll be right the same thing we just got a minute ago. So there we go. All right. All right, pause it and try B. Okay, we can go left or right again. Uh, 7,800 is what percent of 390? Let's just do it. 7,800 is what percent? X over 100. Of 390 times 390. And we can kind of treat this, you know, as over 1 if you want. So I'm going to switch this. I'm going to go ahead and multiply. I'm going to make this as a fraction. 390 over 100. And then put the X kind of in the middle to make it look nicer there. That's a 9. That equals 7,800. And we know how to get rid of this, right? We go 100 on top and 390 on the bottom. You done with that. And then times 100 on the top and then 390 on the bottom. We got our X. So, you know, this is where you go, okay, 7,800 times 100, you know, and of course, by the way, you can just chop off zeros if you want to. That chops off a couple there, and you can go 7,800 times 10, well, that's 78,000, divided by 39, and there's where your calculator comes in handy. You should probably recognize that 78 over 39 is going to be 2, and then three zeros, that gives you 2,000. There you go. Okay, let's say you didn't see that. All right, fine. Loop equals loop. 
7,800 is what percent of 390? There's two numbers right there, what percent? The only question is, what goes on top? 7,800 as one of the numbers or 390? Well, this is a gigantically large percent, way more than 100, so the bigger number is on top. So we have to match it. 7,800 there, 390 there. Okay, cross multiply, 390 times x equals 78 times 1 is 78. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Good gravy. And again, same old thing. Chop off a zero or just use your calculator and divide. doesn't matter. And we get exactly the same thing. 39 into 78,000 uh, goes 2,000 times. Boom, there's your answer. Okay, all right. Give C a whirl. Go ahead and pause and copy and, or don't pause and copy. Just pause it and get your answer and then come back. Okay, we'll find X, A, and B. No problem. We just, well, let's just slap, um, wait a second. If A is here, then that means that's the same thing here, right? So the bottom left kind of matches the bottom left, but these are vertical angles, right? So 5X minus 21 is going to be the same exact measure as 2X plus 12. So we can make up an equation, right? 5X minus 21 is equal to 2x plus 12. So 2x goes over here, that's 3x. 21 goes over here, that's 12 plus 21. So x is equal to 11. That's our first one. The measure of angle A, well, I mean, that's, yeah. A and B are the same thing. So it doesn't matter what we stick in there. I'll show you. If we just say, oh, I'll find the measure of angle A, which is the same thing as 5x minus 21. Well, 5, x, 5 times x, excuse me, which is 11, that's 55. 55 minus 21 is 34, right? So let's just test it. Will this be the same thing? What's two times x? If x is 11, 22 plus 12, yoink, there we go, 34. So it's the same thing, okay? All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you next time.